With me now from Vaughan is the mayor, Stephen Del Duca. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for taking the time to join with us. Um, we heard you earlier talking to reporters, just saying you were so shocked and horrified by what happened. Tell us more about how your community is responding to this tragic event last night. Well, it is still shocking and heartbreaking for as more and more residents of Vaughan hear the news and see the clips on media, uh, people becoming more and more aware of exactly what took place in our community, which, as that resident a moment ago was saying, is a very, very safe community. I, I've lived in Vaughan for more than three decades. It's a wonderful community. It remains a wonderful community. But to the families of the victims, we, we all, our entire community is heartbroken. And Are we you... offer our very sincere condolences. And to the individual who was uh, shot, and we, you know, we, we hope that she's recovering. You know, it's just the whole thing is heartbreaking at any time of year, but in particular during the holiday season. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. Have you been in close contact with police? Are they keeping you abreast of their investigation? I, I did speak with uh, York Region Police uh, uh, Chief uh, Jim McSqueen, uh, uh, McSqueen a little bit earlier today. I understand in the next hour or so, uh, that there will be an update coming from York Regional Police. I'm going to keep in contact with them. I've also been speaking with Vaughn Fire and Rescue. Uh, to the first responders, police, fire, uh, EMS, as all, was incredibly professional, and, and thank you for your service. But, uh, but this is just something that nobody ever wants to hear about any community. Uh, this is, a, as the individuals, have, uh, the residents have mentioned, it is a safe community. Uh, it is a very mixed community in terms of uh, seniors, young families, people from, from all different walks of life who live in those buildings. I know the buildings well. Uh, close to Canada's Wonderland, across from Vaughan Mill Shopping Mall, a very busy part of our city. Uh, it's just uh, absolutely unbelievable that this has happened. What sort of resources will the city make available for those who are suffering loss at this time? So, I, you know, I, I'm going to continue to speak with senior city staff as well as uh, York Regional Police and, uh, and the other services that we have here to make sure that we are providing whatever comfort we can. Uh, every single City of Vaughan facility now has the flags flying at half-mast to, to honor uh, the victims of, uh, of this terrible tragedy. And we will continue to, to stand strong together as a community. I, I tell people very fondly that Vaughan is this country's largest, big, largest small town. We all know one another. We all stick together through really difficult circumstances. And we're going to do that again here and make sure that this community, the, those directly impacted by this tragedy have our full support. Do your thoughts go to how a semi-automatic uh, weapon, a handgun, ended up in the hands of a 73-year-old man mayor? Well, listen, I think we all have a lot of questions about exactly what took place here, how it happened, why it happened. Now, there's been a lot of speculation already, both in media and on social media, and through informal conversations happening in the community. What I'm urging everyone to do is just let's wait until York Regional Police and the Special Investigations Unit have completed both of their investigations, done all of their work, and then the questions that we all have, me included, I think can be answered at that point in time in the most responsible way. I don't want any of the speculation that's out there to make an, an already horrible situation that much worse. So I wanna wait for the investigations to be completed and then for us to collectively dig into what took place and figure out why, figure out how, and figure out how we can make sure it never happens again. Understood. Mayor, are you aware of police responding to this particular building in the past for any previous incidents? I'm not, I'm not personally aware. Uh, York Regional Police, I'm sure, could answer that question. I don't know specifically if they've responded in the past. Stephen Del Duca, he is the mayor of Vaughan, Ontario. Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for your time.